we'll guide you through how to get and set live wallpapers on a PC for free. So these are going to be live and animated. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. You may go and be bored at the current static picture you've got, or maybe it's even the default one like mine here. So let's go and guide you through how this can be done. To do this, we do need to go and get an app. So you can go and open up a web browser of your choice. I'll use Chrome. The app we're going to go and get is called Lively. So you can go and type in Lively wallpaper like so. Make sure you come to the official site, which is this here by Rox Danister. When you're here, you can go and scroll down and read about it. And here is the download here. So you can go and press on the Windows installer. You can also go and get it from the Microsoft store if you wish. Now you need to go and wait for it to download. So just go and be patient. In Chrome, you can see the progress in the top right. Now it's finished, what we need to do is go and open up our file explorer and what we can do is come to our downloads. So press downloads to the left, then you can go and find Lively and you can go and double click it like so. Shortly we'll go and get this pop up and I'm going to install it for all users so I'll click there. We'll then get a Windows Kudi pop up you need to agree to. Choose the language, I'm English so I'll choose that. Then we can go and press next. Make sure you read this through, I already have so I'll press I accept and press next. Choose the install path, press next. We'll have a desktop shortcut, press next, and then press install. Now I'll go and wait for this to run through. It shouldn't go and take too long. It may need to go and install some other requirements as well. For example, here it's installing .NET desktop, but these will be done automatically. So you can go and wait. Now to go and complete this, we do need to go and restart our computer. So we can go and do that now. What you can do is go and launch Lively via the desktop shortcut, or you can go and press search at the bottom and it'll go and open. If it doesn't go and pop up when you do that, it may go and be hidden. So you can go and press the show hidden icons button in the bottom right, then you can find Lively and you can right click on it and then press open Lively. And then it'll go and open up as you can see. So now let's guide you through how this can be done. So here you're going to go and see some default included options. We can go and click one of them, for example, like this one here, and that'll then go and be set. Just be patient while it loads. And you can go and see there are other options here as well. And you can also go and press the gallery in the top left, that's coming soon. Now you may be wondering, how do you go and get other ones? These can be a little bit basic and you want some more. Let's get started with adding our own custom live wallpaper. So open up a web browser of your choice. Go and search for motion backgrounds like so. The site I like to use is this one here, motionbgs.com. You can then go and search something you like. For example, I like retro, but at the top there, you can see all those different categories as well. So when you then go and find one you like the look of, you can go and click on it like here, click on one you like, and then what we can do is scroll down and you can go and press the download button. Now it's going to download it onto our computer. You need to come and return to Lively. Go to the top right, and there you're going to go and see the add wallpaper button, which you can click on. We can then go and press choose a file and we can come to our downloads and you can go and select it and go and press open. Now it's going to go and show it us there. And what you can do is go and give it a name and complete this here if you wish. Press OK. And as you can see, we're now using it. And I want to briefly cover some settings. So you can go to the top right and go and press on the gear or cog icon like so. And then you can go and customize it to your liking, for example, disabling audio. If you have multiple monitors, you can go and press the monitor icon in the top right. Come into placement method. And what I like to do is go and select duplicate. And this means it'll then be on both monitors. You can go and press OK. You could try span if you wish as well. That's it. Of course, you can browse online and get many other wallpapers as well and go and add them to your library. And you can then click on them to easily go and change. If you found this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video.